What is up, drummers of YouTube? I'm gonna let you in today on a little bit of a secret. I'm gonna peel back the curtain on something that I, you know, I don't know if I've ever heard anybody talk about this. Um, and I'm just being completely honest here, and I might get critiques for this. We'll see, we'll see in the comments section. But here's something that you might not have thought about and might be quite surprising for non music teachers. I'm sure other music teachers will uh, share these thoughts. Good students, you don't actually end up teaching them much. You don't actually need to do a lot. You do more teaching with the struggling students, with the people who are not getting things, who haven't done their homework, in those situations, you're facilitating all the practice. In some cases, the 30 minutes they come and see you for each week, that's their 30 minutes of drums for the week. Tuesday, they got soccer. Wednesday, they got drums. And Thursday, they got hockey. You know, and you're just something that they do. Other students, they, they can't stop playing the drums. They're obsessed. They love it. With those students, you don't need to do much at all. And what's interesting about this, and probably what a lot of people get around the wrong way, is sometimes those students, the teachers of those students will get a lot of praise. Like, wow, that must be some fantastic teacher. I mean, taught that guy, taught that girl, and you know, they're pretty good. And the fact of the matter is, they were gonna get good anyway. I've had various teachers, some were amazing, some were average, some were really bad. But I would never blame or put it on any of those teachers for a failure in my career or a failure in my progress. That's up to me. If I feel like the connection with the teacher is not good or they're not helping me in the way that I would hope, that's up to me to move on, to draw a line in the sand, move on, find better help or, or do it all myself. Me personally, I needed help. I needed a teacher. Some people don't. You know, you'll often hear people cite the Dave Grohl thing. Oh, Dave Grohl didn't have a teacher. He did pretty good. Yeah, but you're not Dave Grohl. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this is just going to be a short video. And it's just to make the point that this often gets taken around the wrong way. Sometimes with a student who isn't progressing very quickly or is struggling or can't play drums in time with a song. Sometimes the teachers worked really hard with that student and approached it from multiple different angles and it's just not happening. And the teacher's trying to be very patient and working through this and, and you know sticking by the student and hanging in there for the student. I've had students like that in the past. Often they're the students who really, really enjoy the lessons. And you know, together we will get there. In the end, we will get there and you will play well and you will be playing in time. Other students are just stars. Because they're talented? No, because they are obsessed. You can't get them off the drums. They walk in the door and they just sit down and ah, they start playing. And um, some of those students, you know, are, are playing in multiple bands, recording, recording albums, playing sessions. You know, they know about drums. They know about the industry. And you just give them a sniff. You give them a whiff of the, of the, of the new lesson and they're off and they've done it. And you end up with these students. It's more about concepts, ideas, ways of thinking, encouragement, mentorship. You know, you can do this. You can do that. You, should, you need to talk to this person. You need to check out this person live. Go to this gig. You, know, you might introduce them to someone. You might get them to do a little bit of teaching for you. They might cover a gig for you. That is that next level of teacher-student relationship where you become like a peer and I guess like a friend and they're just, they don't need much. They don't need much encouragement. They don't need much help. They're just off on their own. Teaching six days a week, some things just become painfully obvious. And um, I think they're probably surprising to non-teachers, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment with what you thought of this video. 
for any feedback you have or what you would like me to talk about or check out in the future. And remember, you can pick up a free 30-day trial with Dromeo, link in the description of each video. Till next time.